So when Brian first got hired, he sort of understood that his responsibilities were to manage uh, our third-party vendor that was handling our warehouse, handling our fulfillment down in Austin, and that eventually, at some point in time, we would go ahead and integrate that into our Seattle operations. At uh, one point in time, he came to me, I think it was earlier uh, this year, 2010, and he had said, hey, you know what, I think that we'll be ready to do this in you know, two, three years. I was like, well, that's great because we're gonna do it this year. It felt like a joke at first, and then, and then he was like, by the end of that joke, where he called me into his office and seemed to be pretending, it became real. And then, and then maybe eight months later, uh, I spent all my time there. <laughs> that's part of the reason that we hired Brian was to, and it was to have someone who could who could think about things like this full time, more or less. One of the big benefits was that we could have control over everything that's there. So things like we had a pre-order bonus for season one where every one of our DVDs was signed by everyone at Penny Arcade. And for us to have a warehouse in Austin, that was just not possible. Whereas in Seattle, we can just all drive down there, it's five minutes away, spend a day down there, crush out, couple thousand signatures, a couple thousand DVDs, and, and call it a day. Are you making right. a No. No, write your fucking name. That is my name. No, that is a lie. Have you ever seen me write checks that I seen, fucking signed them? I've seen things that say Robert Koo, and I see a line. It makes me think that you don't care about the process. Hey, listen, okay, I'm not sure listen. what I just wrote Hold it, hold it. When did the age fall off? You can try that one again. <laughs> There's no yours either. Yeah, well, listen. <laughs> the reason I didn't finish mine is because he didn't finish his. Put an H on there for fuck's sake. Since what the no shit is going on here? What happened with these fingerprints? Sorry. Things like that uh, we want to continue to do, and we just wouldn't have the ability to do so elsewhere. Brian looked for the longest time when Brian was was essentially making that the warehouse real. He was. He looked like a wild man. He looked like hammered shit. Well, yeah, he, uh, there were some sacrifices made during the ramp up of the warehouse. And uh, one of those was his, I don't want to say personal hygiene, because he, well, OK, so his personal hygiene. Well, I don't know about hammered shit, but he, he looked, looked like, like a hammered shit. His he hair looked was like all a, crazy. He looked like a, like a he wilderness. A <laughs> he looked like a wilderness man. I had a beard and I had long hair, that is true, but I didn't really associate with wildlife. Robert made him get a haircut. He was ordered to get a haircut and clean himself up. <laughs> he had to make himself presentable. Yeah. He, uh, he needed a haircut badly. There was a day when, uh, did you guys catch it? I think you were there when we, we had I sort of toured everyone around the warehouse. Give us the door. You guys come in the front door. This area here is the quick pick section. I know it's just like something you can buy, but it seems so weird to have like a scanner, doesn't it? <laughs> like, you only see these in stores. I know they're expensive. I, are they? Yeah. You should be able to just scan each one of these. What? And it enters in here. Uh, what? Like this yeah. looks like it's yeah. It's just printed on there? Well, they're all hand painted on and hand textured. People hand painted each one of these. Michael, look, look, look at the the borders. This, these are all different. Oh my God, they are. That's I different. Just thought it was like, really... Where Is are they it... located? Uh, I think Shenzhen. But they're in China, right? Yeah. No, it's Shenzhen, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> they were here late at night. He was scared, like homeless people or something. <laughs> Wait, what is that? It's Robert's oh, weapon that he made. Like he hobo, home... hobo stick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's. Awkward to fight with. But watch this. Just poke his dick with it. So the most important question is when can I start pulling merch for my personal <laughs> wardrobe? Can the company? Can we when can I start from stealing from the company? So, so oh, this this oh, rack here is all good. <laughs> plug it in here. Right oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. And then you pull it, you have to pull that down before it over. Whoa! <laughs> I got to hold on a second. Let's, let's put it through its pieces. Oh! No, that is so dangerous. Really? I might fall two feet? Oh! 
Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, I can't make you go any higher. Yeah. No, I can't. I want to touch the light. Oh, God. Don't kill one of the pioneers of web comics. Oh, God, this is too scary. Oh, oh. oh. Who's next? No. <laughs> that felt really good to have everyone there. It made it feel like it was. I'd been sort of toiling alone there. You know, Robert was aware of everything that I was doing, but I don't think everyone else here was. Seeing the whole thing together and having everyone there and having like a Penny Arcade discussion occur there was, was nice. I'd say that the warehouse work is very fulfilling. See what I did there? Where you might have an eight hour a day in an office, but you know, portions of that time is like, oh, I'm gonna play ping pong for a while. And, uh, I'm gonna surf the web for a while, whatever. I can fill about 12 hours of a day with solid work now. There would be times where he or he would have to sleep in the warehouse on a cot and on one hand I feel really terrible about it but on the other it's like all right he's he's willing to do what it what it takes to get this done. Uh, we are going we are driving from the office to the warehouse now uh, and we are going to uh, fulfill our first orders from the, the, the live store right now which is pretty exciting. So you guys were in, in the in the warehouse with us on our, basically our first day of actually fulfilling stuff. I remember the first night that you had filmed there, it was uh, the first time where we said, okay, well, all of the tools that we have uh, are at our disposal in terms of being able to fulfill, uh, and it's just a matter of going in there and doing it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't really have a process, so you got to see on film us figuring that out. No, that's not gonna work. I don't that know, will never I'm close. Back. What I'm is wrong with you? This is awful. This is from fucking Norway. <laughs> Do we not have large? What we sort of had pictured in our heads as far as how it was gonna go was that we weren't quite there yet that day, and so we still had to sort of figure out how to get through that process and where the bottlenecks were and, and all of that. You're not a good teacher. <laughs> I told you how it works. It's not my fault the system is broken. What you saw there is very different than, than how the process is like now, five weeks later. It was a very frantic four to five months of not only pre-planning but execution and, and shutting down the old warehouse in, in Austin and getting everything squared away up in Seattle. But at this point in time, yeah, we were, uh, we're, we're, we're good to go. It's just another portion of the business. I think that's really cool, you know? I came in here uh, wanting to support Penny Arcade and make Mike and Jerry's job easier for them to do and not really interfere with that. And I think that the warehouse is a, is a physical manifestation of that, that goal. So I guess we could say I achieved something. <laughs> the forklift. We're not, they're not going to be able to drive it. I'm oh. saying that they would think this is the best. Probably, yeah. They would think it's cool. They would think we were gods if we if we showed them this. It'd be like it'd be like showing Adam and Eve the, the tree. Like, yeah, we have our behold. own forklift, son. <laughs> you know what I'm someday all this will be yeah. yours. <laughs>